Today I'm gonna show you how to assemble IKEA mount, six drawer chest. We're gonna have four bigger drawers at the bottom part and two smaller drawers on the top. Let's do it. And you're getting two boxes with this IKEA mount, six drawer chest. So I'm gonna show you what you're getting when you're gonna buy this unit. It's gonna be quite a lot of stuff, even is it only two boxes one bigger, one smaller. So this is the old panels, you get quite a lot of screws. Good practice is to put the same screws in, a, in a one place, so you're gonna have easier time when you're gonna do the assembly. So this is the screws, quite a lot, that indicate it's gonna be quite a lot of work here. And we're starting with the top panel. There's gonna be six long screws in the top panel. Go just till the stopper, not deeper or not higher. Otherwise, we're gonna have a problem later on. Two on the sides, two on each side, and two on the middle. This is the dividing middle panel. You're gonna attach the rails for the smaller drawers. Small screws, two on each rail. Uh, watch where you're gonna put the wheel on the rail. You see there is a the front side have the white finish and the back side is a uh, plain, so the wheel on the front side. Two big wooden plugs on the top. And this is the small panel which is gonna go under the top panel. So two wooden plugs, just place it in. Find the two holes and place it in the bottom side of the top panel. L-shaped brackets, it's gonna be two of these, it's gonna hold uh, the slim panel attached under the top panel. So just two screws for each L-shaped bracket. Now we can attach the middle part. So the white part coming out the front, see there is this cut at the front. And we're gonna have uh, long locks longer than usual so because the panel is thick so they put those longer locks just place them in position the arrow in the right direction that's mean it's facing the screws and we can secure it lock it lock the locks just twist it to the right side now the top panel is done and we're gonna prepare the side panels so we're gonna start with the long screws we can prepare all the stuff what we need for it it's two wooden plugs two legs the long screws, locks, unfortunately now there's gonna be a lot of plastic wo plastic locks, they didn't put the metal ones. And we're starting with the long screws, so two at the bottom. I think there's five on one side and two at the back. So this is the one side panel, we can place the locks arrow facing the holes and two wooden plugs on the top. This is the top side of the side panel. Turn it around and we can place the legs. There's gonna be two plastic legs on each side, each of the side panels. Just place it in and we can do the second panel exactly the same. Place the long screws. The screws going where is gonna be the dividers. Just place it in, don't go too deep or too high, just when it's, it's this small stopper gonna stop you. Two locks, exactly the same, and two wooden plugs on the top of the side panel. Other side there's gonna be legs, the plastic legs. It's a good thing if you have floors, I'm gonna scratch the floors. Now we're gonna start with those slim panels. One is gonna have a white finish on one side and two of them is gonna be plain. So one wooden plug in each of them. At the side, exactly the same, one wooden plug in each of these panels. Now we can place the plastic locks, exactly the same, this arrow 
facing towards the hole that's apply to all panels. If you position the lock wrong, you're not going to be able to connect the units or the panels. So this is four slimmer panels. This is going to divide the front. It's going to be basically between the drawers. Exactly the same one wooden plug on each side. And one plastic lock on each side. Unfortunately, they didn't put the metal lock, so be careful when you're going to lock those locks. They're a bit flimsy, a bit more fragile than the metal ones, easier to break. And we can start with the bottom panel, just place it in and secure it. This is those three thicker panels, and we're going to have one on the front, and that's the one with the white front. Just place it in and secure the lock. Just twist the lock to the right side. Now we're gonna go with those slim ones. They're gonna divide uh, the drawer at the front. Just place them in. So the white part of the dividers facing the front. And we can secure them. Twist the lock to the right side and secure it. And this is the last of the bigger panels. It's gonna be at the back on the middle. Just secure it with the lock. Now we can place the top panel. Here is a bit tricky because you got a lot of these dividing slim panels. So first I'm gonna go with the bottom one at the back, then front, first, second, third, and fourth, and the fifth, and then the back one or you're gonna find a way that basically you're gonna have to put them all at the same time in so just be patient here and watch out because they're slim it's very flimsy at this moment so it can the whole units can collapse so just go slowly here once you place them in just tap it all in and secure the locks so you secure the whole frame lock it all twist the locks plastic locks to the right side it's the back bottom one and the back middle one. Now we can put the units at the front. So the back side is up. This is the front panel. You have to lift the unit a little bit up or you can put something under the side panels and just tap it all in. One side and the other side. Seen all close nicely. On the side exactly the same. And we can secure the locks. So there's two locks on the each of the side panel. Just twist it to the right side. See I'm using the electric screwdrivers here. It help a lot in this case. There's so many screws. You can find the links in the description if you want to check them out. This is a shaped bracket if you want to attach this unit on the wall. Once it's loaded it's going to be very heavy. So it's a good practice if you want to feel secure. Especially if you have a small kit so they can open the drawers and they can flip the whole units down. So you have an option to attach it on the wall. Measure from corner to corner you should get exactly the same number. And that would mean the unit is in the right position. So and we can secure the back panel with the nails all, all around it. And you can put a few nails on the dividing panel on the top as well. So it's like a 20 centimeter deep from the top just to secure it with the back panel. You can lift the unit up and the whole frame is done. Now I'm going to show you how to do the drawers. First I'm going to show you how to do one in detail and then I'm going to show you how to speed this up as you have a six drawers, so how to make it faster. So this is the first unit. You're going to do basically exactly the same. All of them are going to do uh, one. First, so we're starting with the long screws. Front panel, there's going to be four screws, two on each side. Place them in till the stopper. There it is. At the bottom, one small screw, a rubber 
kind of sticker just place it in this prevent the drawers against slamming when it close one left one right side you're gonna have a dot on one of these I'm gonna show you in a moment that's how you see the dot on one and one is plain one dot one plain so left and right side two wooden plugs place them in to the side panels and you're gonna have uh, two plastic locks in each of the side panels place it in arrow in the right direction as always and now we can connect them together just place it in place the left one in the left side right one in the right side don't make mistake otherwise you're not gonna be able to put the back panel secure the locks and put the bottom panel place it in a gap and the top panel place one side in the gap on the middle and another side and that's how it looks once this is done two plastic plugs just secure the units at the bottom at the back one two on one side two on the other side the bottom panel uh, rails I'm gonna have two rails one on each side three screws securing the rail see the wheel is gonna be on on the back of the drawer yeah don't make mistake here otherwise not gonna be able to slide the drawer in so three screws securing the rail on the middle we have support here which is good thing so you can load the drawers heavier so secure it at the back of the drawer and the small screw on, on the front and one is done now I'm gonna show you how to do the rest all at the same time so we can speed up this work it's so basically gonna start with the long screws so two on each of the front panels so this is all five other front panels so this first the long screws you see I'm gonna do basically all operations at the same time so that's how you save time you're not gonna do one another so all the things at the same time this is all side panels so we're gonna have two wooden plugs in each you see i'm gonna do all of them at the same time that's how you can speed up this uh this process here and now you can see the, some of them with the dots some of them without so put them together so you're gonna know which one is left which one is right so for each drawer we'll go one left and one right now we can put the plastic locks two in each of the side panels three small screws the, that's for the support is coming only in a bigger drawers the smaller doesn't have and we can place the side panels exactly the same as the first one I showed you that's applied to bigger drawers and the smaller drawers just speeding up the operation by doing the same things on all five drawers at the same time so we're securing the locks here, the two locks on each side, twisting the lock to the right side. And back panels, you can put all five at the same time and place the back panel in. Now we can put them on the side and place the plastic locks or plastic plugs secure the back side the rails all at the same time three screws securing the each rail place it on the other side plastics secure the side side panel with the back panel rails three screws now we can place the drawers in see I'm starting the wheel gonna have to go over the wheel you can see it here and then just slide it in see I'm putting the drawer a little bit lower so that's how you can go over because it's gonna be very tight so just go over the wheel and lift the drawer up and slide it in now we can put the support for the bigger drawers so each drawer have this uh, each bigger drawer have this support Let's place it in and exactly the same as the small ones push the drawer a little bit down go over the wheel and 
then lift it up and slide it in. It should be nice and smooth. If it doesn't go easy, you may did something wrong. So check how the rails are. Must be very, uh, must be just uh, smooth, right? And this is it. This is a Kia Mom six drawer chest. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you for watching, guys. You have a fantastic day.